In this video, we are going to take a look at uh, washing our red blood cells and making a 3% suspension for our blood bank uh, tube testing. So, uh, the patient had a pink purple, or uh, sorry, pink purple, pink uh, EDTA tube drawn. And what I did was I spun the tube down and then I pulled off the plasma, which I put in a separate uh, glass test tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to uh, make a new glass test tube in which we're going to wash and make our suspension. And as with all uh, tubes in blood bank testing, it has to have uh, an identification on it, what it is. So this patient's name is uh, 14, so I'm just going to write 14 and then 3%. So I know what that is. Now I'm going to make an, take another tube here and I'm going to write on that blank because I'm going to need a blank tube for centrifuging and I'll show you what that means in a moment. All right, so from our EDTA tube, we're going to have to draw a, few, a little bit of those cells out on the bottom. So just take a disposable blood bank tube and there's no exact amount we need to measure. Just suck a little bit up. We're going to need about three drops. All right, now uh, go ahead and take uh, saline. Make sure you're using uh, saline and not water because, of course, if you use water, the water is going to hemolyze your red cells and you're not going to be able to use it. So we're going to fill this about two-thirds to three-quarters full. I'm going about three-quarters. Now, I said before that we need a balanced tube, because at any time you centrifuge something, a centrifuge needs to be balanced. So I'm going to put about the same amount of water, or I'm sorry, saline, in this tube. All right, then we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Centrifuge for 60 seconds. Okay, so we are done, or it is done spinning. And you can see here on the bottom of the tube, you know, it's clear on top and you have the cells on the bottom. So you can either get rid of the water on the top by taking a blood bank uh, pipette disposable and just sucking that water off, or you can just dump it off. I'm going to go for the dump method here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it mixed up get that off the bottom. All right, now comes the tricky part. We have to put in the right amount of saline um, to make a 3% suspension. Now, uh, I think most places would call it a 2 to 5% suspension. We just happen to call it a 3% suspension, um, but it's in that ballpark. So for this much blood, three drops, I'm going to start with filling the tube halfway with saline. Now one thing you have to be careful about when you're pipetting or you're putting things in these tubes, 
uh, is especially if they have something else in it, you don't want to contaminate. So you're, you can see that I'm being very careful about not putting um, the tip or touching the tip of this saline bottle to this tube because there's blood in there and I don't want to contaminate the saline tube. Okay, so I can see, let's see, we're going to go a little bit more here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a disposable pipette. We're going to up and down a little bit, get it good and mixed up. Now, how do we determine if we have a 3% suspension? A good way to do that is to take from your reagent rack one of your cellular reagents. So we're going to use the B cells. And you should try to match uh, your suspension with this suspension. So the way I do this is I go ahead and I, you know, make sure that the B cells or the, you know, the, the reagent cells are nice and mixed up. And then I make sure that the dropper is mixed up. And then I pull some blood up in the dropper. And that's what I use to measure. Okay, so based on what I see here, they look about right. All right, so at this point, you've, you've gone ahead and made up your 3% cell suspension. Those, so those cells are uh, ready to use for testing. Now, uh, you know, keep in mind that um, whenever you let uh, cells uh, in a tube sit, the cells are going to settle. So before any time you use it, make sure you give it a, just a, a once or twice up and down just to get that good and mixed up, and then you can go ahead and use it.